Parenting is not a woman's job. In fact, if you look all over the Bible, you will see where God was talking to the men most times. It is fathers he will call. He kept calling fathers. I can't say this enough. Ephesians 6 verse 4. He says, fathers, do not irritate and provoke your children to anger. Do not exasperate them to resentment, but rear them tenderly in the training and discipline and counsel and admission of the Lord. Fathers, not go and meet your mommy. They will call from school. Sir, we need to, I'm very busy, I'm very busy. The, mo- the mother will come. The mother. Like say, no be two of us, Dwam. Because at what point are you now going to be involved? Only sex. Now me carry the bikini. Now me push up. Now me carry and go to school. PTF now me. Hospital now me. Immunization now me. At what point, daddy? Don't worry now. When, she, when they want to marry, it's the man they will call. They don't used to call women in these things. Fathers, train your children. You must parent as a team. If you want your children to be evangelized, your wife cannot be going to church and you will drop them and turn around and go home. Fathers, children get their identity from their fathers. They get nurture from their mothers, but they get identity, especially boys. That's why we have a lot of boys misbehaving in church. Because mommy is in church praying. You must parent as a team. They must see both mother and father make investment into spiritual things. If your child sees you bow to God, he will know there's someone greater than daddy. So when it's time to worship, don't do like this. Lift your hands. If tears are coming down, don't hold it back. Cry. Let your children see that there's somebody greater than you. That when there's a problem, you run to somebody. Then they will know. That that God is real. They will not consider him to be a mommy's God. You need to parent as a team. You must do it together.